Hey guys, it's TTL back with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arctic Z1 desk mount monitor arm and it's got a four port USB hub as well. Uh, it says it's available in black and silver but I have seen red versions of these kicking about as well if you want to uh, take a look around. It says it's got a desk edge mounting system which maximizes space for your workstations, uh, protects um, prevents undue no eye, neck and shoulder and back strain with optimal viewing position. Three stages of articulation for 360 degrees adjustable viewing angle. No more clutter on your desk with cable management. Ball joint design for easy finger adjustment. And ideal for dealing um, rooms, call centres, reception desks, breakout areas, all that kind of stuff. It's uh, visa compliant. Um, it's 13 inch to 27 inch uh, monitors and it does have uh, two different sizes on the back. It's uh, the Visa 175 compliant mounting. Now I have got it out the box ready and it's here. It's actually quite the beast uh, to the point where it doesn't really, unless I start folding it all up, fit into the rig. And you will notice we're using a red background for a change and it's just something I'm trying. Uh, just in case anyone wants to know, this is actually a polyurethane, polyurethane. it's wetsuit material. Um, I can't, the, the name's gone from me, but anyway, I bought a meter, of wet, a meter, a roll of wetsuit material and it's black and red. So yes, I'm using that. Anyway, right, so this unit, now it's going to be a bit difficult because I need to kind of try and do it where you can see but there's a four port USB hub there's a port there there's a port there port there and a port there and the way it mounts to your desk is with this you obviously put your desk in here and you screw it up push 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 and that's it and then it gets mounted to your desk and then this bit at the end as you can see you can uh, slide this up and down slide this up and down it's all kind of pretty much infinitely adjustable I've not really done it up too much yet because I wanted to show you in the video and then this arm is all adjustable as well so with the arm you can obviously move it about get it in the right position but then once you get it into the right position that you think that you need this end can actually be tilted as well and it can be tilted Do you know what I mean you can bend it all round up down left right and then once you find your kind of like optimal position, you can go around and start doing all the little bits and bobs up because it's Allen keys and you can make sure it's all tight and then it's all fitted lovely. But also what's quite cool is if you have a look here, we've actually got some uh, cable eyes as well. And these, um, you can pop your cable in so you can actually run your cables down the back and keep everything nice and tidy. Now the idea is, is we're actually going to be using this in the office for a bit. But I wanted to make a quick video. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we've actually got the top end of what they say is compatible with this. And that's a 27 inch, 2560 by 1440 Asus monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it, put it over in the corner, and I'm going to readjust the um, camera so that we can take a look. Now I've not got the studio lights on this time, but it does come with two sets of screws. You get a short set of screws, which uh, fits our monitor fine. And then uh, you get a long set of screws. And the idea is with the long set of uh, screws, uh, it does come with these offsets as well. And what happens, if it, you can't get the, uh, the base flat like mine, it's catching on the corners, what you have to do is put the uh, offsets in place and then you use the long screws instead and you bolt it on. Oh, you bolt it on so that it stands away from your monitor. So it's pretty good that they thought of that. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to use these ones and I'm uh, going to get it all fitted and then I will be back when I've done it. Right, okay, so I've got it semi kind of mounted. Uh, we've still got the, um, the wetsuit stuff on here. Now I've done this so it doesn't mark the top of the desk because this isn't going to be the final place that it wants to live. So I don't want to uh, clamp it all up so it leaves any marks or anything, which it might do and probably will do because underneath this it is still... A lump of metal and there's going to be quite a bit of force especially if you've got a big heavy monitor like this so just consider that if you're going to move it about a bit um, it does come with rubber pads which uh, I have used but again I just didn't want to risk it now if we move up to the monitor itself so you can see here we've got a little thumb screw and the idea with that thumb screw is 
that we can uh, stop it from being able to rotate, which is uh, one. And there's another one, if I move this all round, because it's all very movable. There's another one round here. And the reason why you've got one round here is because you can actually adjust how much the monitor pitches and moves as well. So if we do it so that you can see it, that means we can tilt the monitor backwards and forwards. You can actually rotate it as well. So there's a lot of movement there, but you have to go around and do the old screws up really tight. That'll do you well. But there is, like I said, there's a fair bit of movement there. I'm trying to do this with a... It's a bit difficult with the way I've got it mounted. But there's a fair old bit of movement, so you've got plenty of options. It comes with two sets of... Oh, whoa, there we go. It comes with two different thickness sets of screws as well. It does look a bit wonky, but it's not. It's just because the monitor's not quite straight. But what you need to do, one thing I will say is when you're fitting it, you're probably going to need to get someone to give you a hand. And then once you get it all set up and ready, uh, you're probably going to... Uh, maybe want to take it apart and do things up and get it kind of like semi in the right sort of place and then go around and nip all the screws and everything up. But I definitely would suggest that somebody has a little bit of a help in hand. Now I found these for about 60, 65 quid and obviously you can spend a lot of money on them. Um, the 27 inch monitor is quite heavy for this so if you're running uh, 27 then um, I would just make sure that you do everything up really tight, have someone to help you, get it all in place, spend a little bit of time with it. If you run on a lighter 24 inch, especially if it's like one of the LED ones or something, you're not going to have any problems at all. Um, but all in all, it's great value for money. Uh, and uh, if you're looking for something to clear your desktop up, have a little bit better, maybe you want to be able to uh, move your monitor complete, because that's where you could be gaming. If you want to move your monitor completely out of the way so that you've then got a completely clear desk for you know doing whatever else you want to, then uh, that's, you know, what you can do. So I'm just tightening it up so it stops it from moving. Um, but yes, a great little uh, you, uh, unit. And as I've said, great value for money. And that's why we're going to award it, even though this is a rush kit, we're going to award it the OC3D Value for Money Award. Um, if you'd like to see more uh, quick reviews like this, then make sure you post in the comments and let us know. Take a click to the full article on the Overclock 3D website. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another rush kit for you, video for you. Out.